And whoa, look at it! Awesome, Dark Siders Two. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a game play walk through ish series. So yeah, if you want to watch this, yeah, carry on watching it, and uh, hope you enjoy it. So uh, I haven't played the first one, so let's go here and load up a new game. Oh, it's a feature yes except um da -da 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 -da. I don't really want to die a lot so I'll put it on easy <laughs> I'm gonna get so much jit for that anyway um yeah I haven't played the first one but I've I know basically the storyline that like was in prison for causing the apocalypse too early even though he didn't do it I don't know, it was like some sort of conspiracy between angels and demons and all that jazz, but this one you're playing dead. Evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Such is the decree of the Char Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. Three ugly motherfuckers. has been broken. Even now, Earth's powers in ruin fall into the demon lords, and the destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some say the horseman war triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth unbidden and doomed all of mankind. But what of the other horsemen? Fearless enforcers of the council's will. What of fury, strife, and death? To know those names, you must first know another. There's three of the horsemen. Cursed union of angel and demon. The Nephilim countless realms of the sword and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. It's funny how war and uh, death is like, got detail, but like, the other two are uh, dark. Like, Silhouettes. The Nephilim are um, a hybrid between angel and demon. If, you didn't anybody, if anybody didn't even know that, so. Not war, who lies chained at the council's feet, professing his innocence. But one who would save his brother. Many names. Kinslayer, Executioner. Death is the. Uh, I've uh, watched some interviews with uh, Major Games, and uh, Death is uh, more powerful than uh, the rest of the. Uh, why the hell do I keep saying, uh? He's an Ionic! Rest of the. Uh, God damn it, that's just annoying. Rest of the. Or horseman, because he's like first generation Deathly, and they're second generation, or something like that. And so death rode forth into the icy vein to find the keeper. The gameplay uh, mechanics are a little bit different to the first one, because in the first one you could, because you was war, a big bulky dude with a giant sword, uh, you could block this one. You basically just gotta evade all the good attacks. This game is really good looking. It's really good looking. I like it. I mean, I'm not expecting much from this game because uh, the Virtual uh, Games are uh, basically a PC uh, company, like PC gaming company, or well, not company, but developer. 
and they've only recently, well basically Darksiders 1 was their first basically project for console, so. So, um, Darksiders 2 is just going to be the uh, continuation of that story, so. Probably using. Uh, probably the same engine, or maybe a different engine, but. There's not going to be two tweaks. Text message, good damn it! Where am I going? Oh, I'll put that. There's no way to sprint in this game, I don't think. It's just a bit gay. This was a uh, this level was uh, unveiled on at E3, so uh, everybody would have known this first level. It's cooked up. Was it secondary? Awesome. Grab that. Bada boo. Give me some good stuff. Okay, give him some potions. I'll have some potions. Yeah, you. I think you can only carry five potions and five uh, wrath potions. Wrath potions basically fill up the uh, the blue meter underneath your health. Uh, so you can basically do certain abilities that you are in when you level up. Ooh. There's a guy there. Who the hell's that guy? Freaky little midget. Let's go then! Let's go! Level 1! What a dick! That's mine. That's mine. Definitely mine. Ooh, find an axe. Oh, we have equipped it. Oh, still that. Damn. Here. Uh, pick that up. Yeah, you gotta like basically dodge every attack coming at you. Because you're basically death, and you're not war, and war is basically like a full on head first dive into the combat thing, like character, while death's more of a uh, go around the side, flank them, or you know, basically get around them, get to the weak spots, and uh, ooh, B, execute. Oh, jump off that, jump off that, pick that up. Um, I mean, I haven't heard of the uh, story on, on like before Darksiders, so Darksiders really has done a unique uh, genre type game. It's more like, I mean, uh, with the Four Horsemen. I haven't heard of the Four Horsemen until Darksiders. So. Uh, I 
thought the other two horsemen was like famine and uh, some someone else, but it's Fury and Strine. Maybe that's the name of the horses. Oh. You know, this is a mini boss. Well, a mini mini boss. I think. Okay. That's a fairly small boss. Which is a bit weird, because you check his health and you're like, okay. Turn into death mode cinematic. Ooh, take out his spine. Ah, oh, shoves it back in his face. I love that cinematic, like cinematics at the end. I think that's pretty unique to the game. I don't think any games have done that issue. It's more of like if you basically kill him at the end and then I don't know, it disappears. Not no like epic cinematic. Is this an elevator? Yeah, this is an elevator. Really bad designed elevator, everything's coming apart. Jesus Christ. Whoever designed the elevator is just. Oh, damn. Seriously, whoever designed that. The roof is like coming down, what the hell? Seriously. No one's looked after this building. It's just falling, about, it's falling to pieces, so it's like, what the hell? So. I can't do it. Oh, I'm gonna do. That's that's me birdie dust. I think. Show me the I could uh, tell him to show me the way, or oh, is that yeah? That's the only thing he showed me the way, so which is good. Whoa! You sure this place is safe, man? This place is far to bits. I think that midget should be like here. Excuse me, leave this place. Stop throwing stuff at me. Boom. Boom. Climb up here. The maps are well, well designed, well designed and thought out of this game. This game is designed by gamers for gamers, so you know it's just meant to be good. Yeah. And it reminds you of all the old like platform games, like uh, Rayman or any other good stuff, which I can't rem really remember. Like before first-person shooters came out, it was like the platform games, which is a uh, beast. It's got a hint of print. Prince of Persia in there, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, got a hint of I think it's God of War because God of War's got like massive like giants. I think it got a, oh damn, first death. That's just stupid. Oh, God damn, it, I can't believe I just fell down there. Another thing that kind of like brought this game to my attention is like death, because you know, who doesn't want to play death? Like, come on, the unstoppable force, death. Well, not really unstoppable. People cheat death, but well, people have said they cheated death, but you know, it'll get you some time. Death comes for all! Is this like where we meet that midget? Yeah, it is.
careful, Crowfather. I'm not here to put you out of your misery. Not yet. I know why you've come. Your brother, the one called War. He's been imprisoned by the Shard Council and awaits their judgment. For dooming the Earth. For mankind's extinction. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> the Council will condemn War. Strip him of power yeah. and rotten oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No, but they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way exist, you will find it here. The Tree of Life. Not yet. That which you gave me, you will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why do you guard their souls? Open the portal. You will not pass while I live. So be it. Whoa, epic cinematic. You and your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. Are you so certain? Whoa, look at that! It's an uglier version of war. Whoa. First aid war, comfort war. This isn't war. I don't think it is. I understand, yeah, look cool. Awesome. Cool looks, death looks way cooler than war. You you see it, just, wow. Beast! Epic cinematic in the middle of the fight, beast. Uh, I need to tap my eggs. Spam, bottom spam. Oh, down, dying. I need a health potion. Do do. Damn! This is taking longer than usual. Happy cinematic! Happy cinematic! A showdown! And that turns out to be the crow farmer. Ooh, XP! Awesome! Let's go, let's go like, you know, dance above at top on top of him just Action. I like how both sides like turn into one. That's kinda kinda cool. Your secrets 
secrets die with you, old fool. My secrets. Oh, shite. Look at that. Oh. Guessing that's all the souls of the Nephilim basically going into death for some reason. And the crow farm is the crow farmer dead? I don't know. You've got to wait to see. The next part of Dark Souls. If you like this video, please like it and yes. Adios.